Morning, Tony. This is Josh from Crown Chattanooga. Just wanted to put a face with my name. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around on the Silverado that we have out here. So just want to give you a heads up on that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle or turn my phone around so you can see the vehicle. So this is the Silverado that you've inquired about. I'm going to kind of get some updated shots of it too also. This is, there's a little chip right there. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. That's what we're looking at tire-wise and wheel-wise. It's a pretty good trend left on there too also. Get the remote proximity keyless e-entry that's on there. So this will lock and unlock once you put your hands behind it. That's what the interior is looking like right here. Well, 24,449 miles on there. This is what your screen is looking like right here too. Also, apologize about the camera flip too. Also, just giving you a heads up. It doesn't have the full size center console right here, but you do have a trailer brake controller down there. That's something that you plan on towing with it. Um, has the gain and release that's on there. Also, your USB ports that are right there and your remote trunk tailgate lift. Of course, floor mats that are inside there too also. They're washable. You can take those out and wash them if you want to and power seats on this side. We gotta lock this real quick. Oh, by the way, your key fob's looking like this right here. You have lock and unlock remote start and you also do have the remote tailgate release right there. This is what the XT or the back seat is looking like too also. So if you got kids or if you got, you know, anybody that you want to carry with you, including dogs too also, there is a couple air vents that are back here. So you can get the central airflow going to the back of the vehicle along with two USB ports and a car charger outlet, which is right, well, which is right there too also. So if you wanted to get that squared away, the kids or anybody back here wanted to have some electronics playing or just people back here want to charge their phones, anything like that, you have that also. These seats are pretty easy to lift up too. But just all lifting it up so if you need a little bit of extra room to store some stuff underneath there of course there is a little bit of extra storage space and you also got a jack and everything that's right there on this side too so just wanted to give you a heads up on that of course you do have a heated back mirror too also it doesn't have the sliding plane uh pain but you do have a heated back mirror too just in case if it does get cold where you're at up there in south carolina this is kind of like a side shot of the uh, Silverado too also so you can kind of see just the general idea of it of course it is 4x4 too also which I didn't mention that it's over there on the left hand side and this is another tire and wheel shot right here all the tires are going to be matching too also because you got Michelin's on all four of your tires it's cool about the Chevrolet's you know it's unique that the Rams don't have these or the Fords don't have these these little step up sets right there too just makes it easier for you to get in the bed of the truck which i'm going to go ahead and give you an aerial view of the bed of the truck which has got a spray and bed liner too um, a few extra leaves at no cost <laughs> um, and then the back back here i'm not 100 percent sure on what chevy does with their uh vehicles but this is blacked out i don't know if that's part of a chevy package like the chevrolet the lt and the Silverado is blacked out. I see some of them that are chrome, some of them that are blacked out, so it might be like a not addition package, but I'm not entirely 100% sure on that. And of course, the class four receiver hitch on the back with your four and seven pin plug-in right there. Go ahead and get you another side shot right here of the Silverado. Then again, another wheel and tire shot right there with Michelin's. I'm going to send it back on this side too also. Back is right there. Another tire on wheel shot before I get inside there. Sorry, it is a little bit wet out here too also. Another little small chip which is right there. Just giving you a heads up on that. And over here is another side shot of the passenger side, which is the passenger side with this being an LT. It's kind of like the same as our big old Ram trucks. So we're not going to have a power seat on this side, just only on the driver's side. And of course, your dual glove compartment right here, which this will open up right here through your glove compartment. And this down here opens up also. And it's got your lug nut lock in there too also.
And Tony, this is kind of like a, just a little side shot rundown of the, the Chevrolet. I'm gonna get the front real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and post this up to YouTube so send you a link. So just so you can kind of get a general idea. I know you're four hours away. I just want to say thank you for inquiring. Um, this is a little bit of just a walk around of the truck that you inquired about. So hope you have a good day, Tony, and I appreciate you inquiring.